let's spend just a minute or so talking about OpenStack and storage found within OpenStack, and we're going to focus on Swift today. So the first thing that we need to get is a server. Now, this is a server in the environment. We can actually use a single server. See other videos on how to cluster these servers or put these OpenStack environments into nodes uh, for high availability and kind of how we do that. We have within this server, we're going to use an Apache 2 server. Now, this comes by default on Ubuntu. So if you want to download uh, Ubuntu, you can uh, use that. We're going to use the HTTPD uh, service within Apache 2. And again, you can get this as a standard on Ubuntu, and, and it comes with it. So this is an Apache server, right? An Apache server is primarily a web server offering ports that offer a web. Now, when we start throwing in the word cloud and storage as a service, we need to start kind of looking at how does the customer actually connect to this block-based storage inside of Swift. So let's go back to the server here and just draw it out a little bit. So we have in here the disks themselves. Inside of this server, just a standalone server, is the storage disk. Just like the old days, direct attached storage. And of course, it has CPU and RAM in there as well. Now, so once we establish this application out on the cloud for our users uh, to access, how do we get to the storage? Different than in block storage, where you would pull over blocks or components of it, we're going to actually do direct HTTP GET calls from the storage. So we're going to go from the Swift storage. So what is Swift advertising? It's advertising this open socket that allows us, essentially, as we're drawing out on the screen here, to put put to get and put data in and out of the storage block. We don't have to go through anything else, no other software required to access that storage. Our application writes directly to the storage in the Swift environment. So there's no fancy interface. We're not slicing it up like a LUN or like block storage. We're accessing it directly via HTTP and put commands that are available within a standard web environment, right? We're writing directly from the app and pulling data directly from the, from the app right out of uh, the open socket that sits on that Apache server. And remember, this is not block-based storage. We would use OpenStack Cinder to do block-based storage. What is this good for? Open, OpenStack Swift is good for things like long-term storage, static storage. It can be, uh, you know, it needs to be updated, things of that nature. Block is Cinder. 